Ever wondered if your furry cat friend's gender plays a role in their quirky antics and charming personalities? Are male cats truly kings of cuddles and the charismatic charmers they're made out to be? And are female cats really the queens of stealth and live up to the reputation of being superior hunters? In this video, we uncover the differences between male and female cats. When it comes to understanding cat behavior, it's important to recognize that cats vary widely based on several factors, such as breed, environment, treatment, individual personality, and how socialized they were as kittens. While gender can indeed play a role in shaping a cat's behavior, it's just one piece of the puzzle. Each cat has its own unique personality, and observing and understanding their individual needs is crucial for providing the best possible environment and care. Before we go into the main differences between male and female cats, let's try and answer a crucial question that many cat guardians often ask. Will neutering and spaying affect a cat's behavior and character? Neutering and spaying can have significant impacts on your cat's behavior. After neutering, male cats often show reduced roaming behavior as the urge to find a mate diminishes. They may also mark territory less frequently and exhibit decreased aggression. However, their playful nature remains intact. They simply become a bit calmer. Similarly, after spaying, female cats no longer go into heat, eliminating constant yowling and agitation. They may also be less inclined to roam, alleviating concerns about unsupervised outdoor adventures. Additionally, some spayed females may become more affectionate. Now, let's look at the eight main differences between male and female cats. Before we dive in, please subscribe to Wise Animals and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. Male and female cats display some differences in appearance. In terms of appearance, there are noticeable differences between male and female cats. One significant distinction is size. Male cats are typically larger and heavier than females. This difference becomes particularly apparent if the male cat was not neutered until after reaching sexual maturity. Additionally, male cats tend to have larger, wider cheeks and a more rounded face compared to females. This physical characteristic is influenced by the presence of testosterone in males, as large cheeks are used to signal physical fitness and strength to other cats, regardless of gender. These prominent cheeks can serve as a signal of readiness for potential fights with other males and also as a means to attract female cats. Interestingly, male cats often retain these large cheeks even after being neutered. Territoriality and aggression are different between male and females. When it comes to territorial behavior, we often associate it with male cats, and for good reason. In nature, male cats have the role of protecting their territory against intruders. Scientific studies have shown that elevated levels of testosterone in male cats can contribute to a greater tendency for territorial aggression. They are more inclined to mark their territory not only physically, but also with scent, often through urine spraying. So, how can you address this cat territorial behavior? One helpful tip is to use products that mimic the natural facial pheromones that cats use to mark their territory, which can help them feel more secure in their environment. It's also essential to provide sufficient resources, such as food dishes, water sources, and litter boxes to prevent competition among cats in the household. However, it's important not to overlook female cats when considering territorial behavior. While their approach may not be as overt as that of males, they have their unique ways of asserting dominance. For instance, female cats often prefer elevated resting places like the top of a bookshelf or a windowsill. Interestingly, a study revealed that this behavior is a vestige of their wild ancestors, where higher places offered safety from predators and a strategic vantage point for hunting prey. Male and female cats have different hunting styles which also influences their preferences for play. The hunting styles of male and female cats are intriguingly different, reflecting their distinct instincts and behaviors. Let's start with female cats. Have you ever observed how a female cat can sit patiently for hours, silently observing a toy or a bird with unwavering focus? This remarkable display is a testament to their exceptional hunting abilities. Research indicates that female cats are inherently skilled hunters, a trait honed through generations of providing for their offspring in the wild. This proficiency in hunting remains a fundamental aspect of their behavior, even in domestic settings. During playtime, female cats often exhibit a more focused and intense interaction, reminiscent of their hunting instincts. Toys that mimic prey movement, such as feather wands or toy mice, can engage their natural hunting instincts and provide both mental and physical stimulation. On the other hand, male cats approach hunting with a playful touch viewing it as a game rather than a necessity. Their hunting style is infused with enthusiasm and bursts of energy. Have you ever noticed how they pounce at the sight of a crumpled paper ball? This spirited behavior stems from their instinctive drive, 
possibly originating from their ancestral role in fending off intruders. Playing with a male cat is often a lively and energetic experience, especially during nighttime marathons when they become super active. Interactive toys that encourage jumping and chasing are ideal for channeling their energy and keeping them entertained. Gender can indeed play a role in your cat's display of affection. Many cat owners hold the belief that neutered males are more affectionate than females. However, there are also those who argue that female cats are nicer than males. When it comes to affection and interaction, male cats often take the lead. MLA cats are typically the ones initiating interaction by rubbing against your legs or hopping onto your lap uninvited. This charming behavior isn't arbitrary. Scientific studies suggest that male cats, in their natural wild environment, have fewer responsibilities than females. Without the burden of raising offspring, male cats have more free time to relax and socialize. This sociability extends to their interactions with humans, making them appear more affectionate and attached. On the contrary, female cats tend to maintain some distance, often observing the world from a high vantage point or a cozy corner. This behavior doesn't indicate aloofness. Rather, it's a built-in characteristic in their DNA. Female cats are naturally programmed to be solitary hunters and protectors of their offspring. Thus, in domestic environments, they may seem more reserved. However, any display of affection from female cats, whether it's a slow blink or a gentle touch, is a significant indicator of love and trust. If you want to strengthen your bond with your cat, be mindful of these differences and act accordingly. For male cats, capitalize on their love for physical interaction. Regular, gentle strokes and chin scratches can help establish a bond with your male cat. Playtime is also crucial. Engage male cats with interactive toys and games, satisfying their playful instincts while fostering a deeper connection. For female cats, understanding and respecting their space is key. They appreciate it when you allow them to approach you for affection rather than forcing it upon them. Additionally, create a safe and welcoming environment where they can retreat when they need some alone time, promoting a sense of security and trust in your relationship. Male and female cats can suffer from different gender-specific diseases, Male cats are more prone to urinary tract blockages due to their narrower urethra, which can lead to life-threatening conditions like urinary obstruction. Female cats, on the other hand, are less likely to experience urinary blockages, but may still suffer from urinary tract infections. Female cats face reproductive health issues such as pyometra, uterine infection, and mammary tumors if they are not spayed. In contrast, male cats are more susceptible to testicular cancer if they are not neutered. Feline lower urinary tract disease is more common in male cats and often involves issues like urinary crystals or stones. In female cats, it tends to present differently and may involve bladder inflammation without blockages. Both male and female cats can develop kidney disease, but certain types, like polycystic kidney disease, may be more prevalent in specific breeds and genders. Perineal urethrostomy surgery, a procedure to widen the urethra and prevent urinary blockages, is more common in male cats due to their higher risk of urinary obstruction. Unspayed female cats have a higher risk of developing mammary cancer, especially if they are not spayed before their first heat cycle. Male cats do not have mammary tissue and thus do not develop mammary tumors. Both male and female cats can suffer from anal gland problems, such as impaction or infection, although these issues are more commonly seen in male cats due to their narrower pelvis. Female cats may experience hormonal imbalances related to their reproductive cycle, such as estrus-related behavioral changes or complications during pregnancy and birth. Male cats may develop hormonal issues related to testicular function or disorders like hyperthyroidism. Urine marking is different between males and females. Male and female cats exhibit differences in their marking behavior, particularly in urine marking, which plays a crucial role in communication and territory establishment. Male cats are known to mark more frequently, and their urine tends to have a stronger odor due to a compound called felonine. This compound breaks down into a sulfur compound when exposed to air, contributing to the distinctive scent of male cat urine. Neutering is a highly effective strategy to reduce hormone-driven territory marking behavior in male cats. Creating distinct territories within the home for each cat can also minimize marking, along with reducing visibility of outdoor cats to decrease territorial disputes. Female cats, although less frequent urine markers than males, may still exhibit this behavior, especially when stressed. Changes in their environment, such as the introduction of new pets or disruptions to their routine, can trigger urine marking as a form of expressing anxiety. Providing a stable and secure environment, maintaining a consistent routine, and offering quiet retreat spaces can help alleviate stress in female cats 
and reduce urine marking incidents. Territory exploration and roaming behavior is different in male and female cats. Male cats are renowned for their exploratory nature, driven by the urge to seek out potential mates. Their adventurous spirit leads them to venture into unknown and sometimes risky territories in pursuit of a mate. In contrast, female cats tend to be more cautious explorers, often staying closer to home and maintaining a smaller territory. Their priority is to ensure the safety of their space, particularly for potential offspring. During mating season, Female cats may exhibit slightly more exploratory behavior as they seek out potential mates. Male cats often exhibit a greater willingness for human interaction compared to females. Studies consistently show that males tend to enjoy engaging with humans more, often seeking out their favorite people for companionship and contentedly purring in their presence. While not every male cat will be extroverted, statistically, they lean towards being more sociable. This sociable nature in male cats can be traced back to their ancestral instincts where forming social connections was essential for survival. In contrast, female cats tend to be a bit more reserved in social settings. However, this doesn't mean female cats are antisocial. Female cats express their affection in their own unique ways, such as gentle head bumps or quietly sitting by their human side. Female cats are also more prone to stress or anxiety, particularly in new or unfamiliar situations, as they thrive on routine. To help alleviate their anxiety, gradual changes to their environment and introducing new elements calmly can be beneficial. Additionally, regular play sessions provide an outlet for them to release stress and feel more relaxed. In summary, while gender can influence a cat's behavior to some extent, each cat is unique with its own personality. It's essential to observe and understand your cat's individual needs, regardless of whether they're male or female, to provide the best possible environment and care. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Your support not only encourages us, but also helps other cat lovers discover our content. Don't forget to share your experiences in the comments below and consider subscribing to the Wise Animals channel for more informative videos on understanding and caring for our feline friends. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video.